This video will contain spoilers. Consider yourself warned. Episode 3 of The Acolyte unveils a trove of revelations regarding the Witches of Brendok, a newly introduced force cult in the expansive Star Wars universe. Traditionally, the Night Sisters of Dathomir have been the sole recognized force sensitive witches, but May and Osha's narrative prominently introduces another ancient coven with distinct characteristics from their Dathomiri counterparts. The episode transports viewers 16 years into the past from the main timeline, depicting May and Osha as children on Brendok, one of the series' new planetary settings. While exploring the dynamics between the twins, the episode primarily delves into the rich history and unique practices of their coven. Here's a comprehensive summary of the significant revelations from Episode 3 concerning the Witches of Brendok. Firstly, the Brendok Witches possess the ability to forcefully inhabit others, a revelation that adds a chilling dimension to their powers. Initially manifested through Osha's unsettling visions of May, which bear a resemblance to cinematic portrayals of possession, this ability is further elucidated when Mother Anasia overtakes Jedi Padawan Torbin demonstrating their capability to manipulate and control others, a facet not extensively explored in previous Star Wars media. Secondly, the Witches of Brendok emphasize the potency of collective strength during their ascension ceremony, underscoring their belief in the combined power of many. This communal approach contrasts sharply with the Jedi's individualistic philosophy, highlighting the Coven's distinct perspective on harnessing the Force's essence, referred to by Mother Anasia as the Thread a unifying force that transcends conventional notions of light and dark sides. Moreover, the Witches of Brendok hold a deeply rooted skepticism towards the Jedi Order, viewing their methods as adversarial to their own understanding of the Force. This sentiment is compounded by the Republic's prohibition on the Coven's education of younglings, a decree that not only threatens their survival but also exposes the Republic's authoritative oversight over Force-sensitive communities a theme that resonates with broader critiques of institutional control within the Star Wars narrative. Central to the Coven's lore is their rejection of the Jedi's binary interpretation of the Force, advocating instead for a nuanced comprehension that eschews moral categorizations. This philosophical departure underscores their belief in an impartial Force, devoid of inherent morality, a belief that sets them apart from the Jedi and invites contemplation on the nature of power within the Star Wars galaxy. Tragically. Episode 3 culminates in the brutal massacre of the Witches of Brendok, a pivotal event that leaves Osha bereft and prompts speculation about its perpetrators and motives. The aftermath challenges earlier suspicions about May's involvement, raising questions about the true orchestrators of this catastrophic act and its implications for the series' unfolding narrative. In conclusion, the Acolyte promises to unravel the enigmatic legacy of the Witches of Brendok through May and Osha's intertwined destinies offering a fresh perspective on the complexities of Force-sensitive traditions within the Star Wars universe. As the series progresses, it remains poised to delve deeper into these mysteries, exploring the enduring influence of the Coven amidst a galaxy fraught with ideological conflict and shifting alliances. So there you have it all. Do share your thoughts in the comments, like and subscribe for more. I will see you next.